My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violin, New Jersey, and um, I'm going to be recording a um, false minute, a false pastor, uh, William Clay, of Violin Nazarene Raymond Church. Um, they like to um, well mess with people's heads, gaslight people. Um, his prayer is not a prayer, by the way, and it's really disturbing that he's using people's like. Um, suffering for illnesses or something like that and just make mockery um false prayers um and i'm not talking about just out of people's ignorance not knowing god um well he doesn't know god or else he wouldn't even do this this is um so irreligious um oh yeah they like to um uh pervert what religion is and call religion sin and sin religion so um and then attack religion it's kind of like the catholics um who basically um who basically uh, deliberately called, uh, perverted everything about Christianity and the Israelite religion and basically um, made up all these false... Um, I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. False doctrines against um, the Israelite um, religion um, of the Tanakh written gospel and... Uh, you know, and then they called it religion to mock the Christian religion. So, um, this is a thing. This is another reason why, um, um, yeah, these, um, churchians shouldn't do their prayers in schools and things like that or whatever. Yeah. A lot of churches are really confused and trying to, well, uh, um, lord it over the children, um, on all these evil false denominations. Um, and you know, try, Oh, put prayers back in school. And the reason why these schools are so, you know, messed up or whatever, because of prayer or whatever. And the thing is that none of these people are praying. Ugh. I had a notification come up, um, update or something. So, um, the thing is, is, um, look, um, prayer, mockery and prayers and, and, and making these evil, um, uh, attacks or whatever, passive aggressive statements or whatever. I heard in many churches, um, especially if they're attacking somebody or want to insult God in their prayer, um, who don't even, they don't even know God. Um, so he, he, I never seen it done to this extreme that he does where he's actually using people who may have like fears of, because, you know, they may be told they're either dying or they have to go for surgery or something like that or whatever. And he, he, he and they're, whatever the case may be, he sits here and mocks it. Not only that, he exploits them to make other passive aggressive statements or attacks on other people, um, not even related to the person. Okay, and he's, he uses people as props, and this is cruel. I wouldn't do this to my worst enemies. I wouldn't, it's, it's, it's terrible. Like, okay, so, you know, like this, okay, well, look, yeah, I believe the people in here who attacked me should be punished, right? And lawfully, all right? And um, so the thing is, let me just put these people in here. Okay, so like this person, this person here, this person here, this person here, okay? Um, yeah, I really believe that, okay, yeah, well, you know, um, yeah, people should be, like, come against them for what they do. Of course, they're deceiving and manipulating people, acting like they're, like, these godly people or whatever. So, but the thing is, I would still think it's cruel. I mean, look, I would tell these people off, right? Uh, and yeah, I will sit there and call them out. I'm like, look, you're you, okay. So look, so this woman, yeah, you know what? You're a mind raping bitch and you're evil and you're a worshiper of the devil. Okay. Period. And I would address that to her. I would tell other people the same thing, but I'm going to sit there and identify why. First of all, I'm not going to do it. No passive aggressive type, um, um, thing where I'm going to make secret attacks where nobody's going to find out or, or do this or whatever. But, um, the thing is, um, I'm not going to do what they do. Okay. This is what they do. And she knows, she knows it. He knows it. Okay. And they, and they don't care that he's being abusive to people or exploiting people, um, for evil intentions. 
okay? Um, but the thing is, it's like, I'll mock their evil, okay? I'm not going to sit there and attack somebody because of their uh, vulnerability or ignorance or, or things like that, um, willful ignorance and, and acting out in evil. Yeah, I'm going to attack back that attacks me or somebody else or humanity or whatever the case may be, all right? But I'm not going to use evil like against evil and I'm going to call it out as evil as it is. So, but so, um, when you listen to him, that this is a thing, what he does this William Clay. So what if it was her right in a position and what if she was being prayed for? Now I believe she belongs in prison because of what she did. She willfully sat there, attacked me, committed crimes against me and committed perjury against me in court and wanted me locked up for her abuses. Okay, flip things backwards, twisted things that I said or whatever to get her little special attention. And she's evil. Okay, but the thing is, is I know for a fact that as we're about to hear, like if he was praying for her, who is one of my enemies, he's my enemy also. He is my enemy. If he was doing this, well, his prayers are not heard by God. Like his prayers, um, he knows he's not praying. He knows he's not um, um, praying real prayers. He knows that, okay? Um, he's just using prayer to make these passive-aggressive attacks. So what if he was praying for her, my enemy, or presenting this, this superficial performance of a prayer and was... Um, Attacking her evils, yeah. The way he does things and pre and and presents as he's speaking against like a wrong or something like that. I'm not look to put in order. His confusion is very complicated. So uh, I keep getting an update to for um, um, notifications since I trying to read that. So um, so. I, it would still be evil if he did this to her. Now, the thing is, there was a bogus false prayer prior to this. And he presents, I don't know if I'm going to put that on here. He presents, um, it's really strange. Like, I mean, I don't even know if they're the same person because they don't look the same. Of course, I don't look the same when I was used to be there. You know, I aged very badly. <laughs> but um, the thing is, is just that um, there's this other people that he presents this bogus false prayer to and actually presents as though he's attacking the male for mistreatment of the female and their names are debbie and greg strangely um so i don't know if they're actually the same couple uh craig i'm sorry debbie and craig i don't know if they're the same couple that was the ones that actually attacked me um they don't look the same at all so and i'm trying to sit there and analyze it my computer screen is like on a much bigger i don't know if I mean, I probably could pop it up on my TV or whatever. Um, it's just so complicated for me. I'm not very tech suave. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, a little old school use of words, suave. Uh, anyway, so the thing is, is that, um, okay, so I had to think about that. So he's sitting Now, the thing is, he's the one that actually attacked me um, uh, for being a victim of abuse. So, um is he sitting there defending women who are abused by men when he is the abuser? It doesn't make any sense to me. So, I mean, would, to sit there and do that um, and a presentation as, as a prayer to somebody. Um, I, okay. I might record it. I'm just going to, I'm going to make this shorter and I'll show, but, but first of all, I, I want you to notice the reactions of people. Um, and I, I really believe that he's actually putting these people around him and presenting while he's doing this superficial prayer, trying to see people's reactions because I have basically mentioned about the reactions to some, some things that he's claimed. Now, the thing is, is, it's really strange because I want you to notice people who continue smiling are actually the most evil ones. And this is the thing. This is what you need to look out for because people think that people are just smiling and doing all these things. And there are more godly people and they're in there and they're very manipulative. Right. So between, let me get these all in here, him, her and her, they continue smiling. Okay. 
she does smile when he attacks this guy for mistreating a woman. So, I mean, what's going on with that? But the thing is, is like she's very superficial. And she actually enjoys William Clay attacking anybody. Doesn't really matter if they're innocent or guilty. And she will suck up to him. Okay. But the ones that I want you to, that are more important. Okay. That is questioning and what is going on. And I, I, there's a confusion. Like they're questioning things is this one and this one. So we're going to look at this one and this one, be reactive. These are, they are going to continue to smile through his messed up statements. So his messed up statements is um, falsely presenting a false thing deliberately, claiming that, um, you know what, I'm just going to point it out when I record it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do it that way. Um, I don't know if I should just we want it from there and go back all right we're gonna um i'm just gonna record it from here bless her this morning God. hold on let me go back and up because of questions that's running through her mind may you be her blessed oh wait assurance let me go on her so he makes a statement and says speak against all the questions she has running through her mind he uses the word nudging which is um, a reflective of something else. It's not about like making a claim that if God nud nudges you to respond swiftly or whatever, this is what he says. Uh, you'll see here in, in his mess, his confusion that he's bringing. Um, he, um, I can't even put, I mean, to, 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 to put things in order while he's deliberately bringing confusion. Um, let me just record it, okay? Let me just record it. I lift her to you now, Lord. I anoint her this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and I pray. He's not, and, and this is another thing, and he knows this. And another thing is, is a lot of there are a lot of the Pentecostals and, and and all these other churches or whatever. You know, they claim like Father, uh, Son, and Holy Spirit in the name of I do this or I pray this in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit or the name of Jesus and all these other things. They're not even speaking about you know, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit or Jesus. Okay, and that's not what it means to do in their name. To do in their name is to do in righteousness. You don't sit there online, deceive, and sit there and say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's not in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You cannot do anything evil in the name of God, okay? In the name of, uh, yeah, the prophet Jesus, uh, Messiah. Um, um, son is actually um, uh, presented uh differently than uh, what these churches presented as. So I'm going to have to, I'm not... Okay, let me just continue. Pray this morning, God, that your hand would be upon her. That God, may you calm the fears. Lord, may you speak against all of the billions of questions that's running through her mind. May God speak against the billions of questions running through her mind. Okay, so let's get... Reactions. Now, if they had all these questions, false questions, and you correct them, that's a different story. But he's being, um, like, he's got a billions of questions. He's com bringing confusion all through his sermons, by the way. And there are actually questions he has, and he's presented as something else. I don't know if I'm going to get to that. I had to pick what's the most important out of all this. To, I mean, I wanted to record different things and different things through his sermons, and I had to narrow it down. Okay, what are we going to record that's actually more important? And I think his interaction personally um, here is probably the most important out of all of everything that he, the confusion that he does. Um, so, may you be her blessed assurance. May she know she can count on you, God, for you have never failed her. And this week is no time to start. Never failed her. And this week is no time to start. 
He's doing this on purpose. Okay, so we're going to go back up. And now we're going to look and focus on the reactions. And this is what he's looking for. That's why he's saying this also. Questions of questions that's running through her mind. Hold on. May you be woman. I lift her to you now, Lord. I anoint her this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And I pray this morning, God, that your hand would be upon her. That God, may you calm the fears. Lord, may you speak against all of the billions of questions that's running through her mind. May you be her blessing assurance. May she know she can count on you, God, he doesn't know what he's you saying. never failed her, and this week is no time to start. Watch. Bless her this morning, God. Encourage her, strengthen her, and give her the courage, God, when she needs help to let us love her. Give her the courage to reach out, God, that we can minister to her, God. He's thank continuously you, smiling through the whole thing. Thank you for this opportunity. So is she. I thank you for this church. May we rise up and be the church this week, God. I pray this, Lord, in your name. Amen. All right, we're going to go over that. Reactions. But first and foremost. So there's Lift more. One of ours up to you, Lord. Hold on. The body. By bringing people's minds to us. By helping us know need. Hold on. Hmm. We're going to have another anointing this morning. Marley also has surgery coming up this week, and we're going to anoint her this morning. So I'm going to ask once again for my staff to come forward. And I'm also going to ask anyone from the body that would want to stand behind Marley that you would come forward also. False Pastor Lois in the striped shirt. False Pastor Eddie Haney. Musician. Oh, I keep forgetting her name. Brandon. False Pastor Brandon. False Minister Nell the Wheat. Lord Jesus, once again, Lord, Angie, we, uh, singer, vocalist, lift one of ours up to you, Lord, because she's really one of yours. Piano player. Lord, you know, Marley has surgery coming up this week, Lord. And one thing I noticed is that, I mean, I'm not saying that she never has, but she usually does not sing when she plays the piano. <laughs> Better off because her songs are stealth, and he actually deliberately, when I say that, um, puts a lot of stealth songs in there. Well, there's a lot of them. Um, so I'm going to go on. Uh, he's questioning himself. Well, you're also very much aware, Lord, that she is Yes, I brought that awareness about that. And I'm sure there's lots of concerns and lots of things running through this young lady's mind this morning as she stands here. She's responsible for a beautiful, beautiful little boy that's so full of energy. <laughs> and it's so hard to take name. care of him when you can't move around well. All right, look. So, Lord, first, as she stands here, she's responsible for a beautiful, beautiful little boy that's so Watch full of Watch the connection energy. of those reactions. <laughs> and it's so hard to take care of him when you can't move around well. So, Lord, first and foremost, this morning, Lord, I pray that we, the Church of Jesus Christ, would be ever mindful of Marley for the next couple of years. They're not the Church of Jesus Christ. And I'm not talking about who the, those who name themselves Church of Christ, okay? The CO, uh, the, what is there, the CO, uh, COGC, and then there's CO... Oh, I'm a COC or whatever. Uh, what was it? There's a case. Uh, so, um, yeah, no, there are usually the Pentecost. Uh, Pentecostals cannot be Christian either. He presents and mirrors a lot of um, distortion, confusion um, uh, among the fraudulent Pentecostals. Sitting there thinking he's making some kind of satiristic uh, point, and um, he's not. He's. He's. he's um, uh, uh, unfruitful, uh, not beneficial in his ways um, in regards to 
his long, ongoing, like, satire confusion. I'm not against satire or sarcasm or anything like that or whatever. What he does is bring things into a pure exhaustion. Uh, he tries to present running on a treadmill against works and all these other things, and all he does is, well, running a never-ending treadmill. And actually, when I presented that, that was actually put into a statement of a false prophet uh, of the fraudulent Pentecostals. Um uh, that, well, yeah, police that they're connected to and uh, these churches uh, use. So he is an ex-cop, by the way. He is an anti-theist, atheist, um, knowingly. And um, he presented a number of times of trying to make this point that, uh, well, uh, he, he doesn't believe in the Bible because, well, he can't interpret it. First of all, he does present some of it in here. He's misinterpreting it, acting like he's proving the point passively, aggressively, and secretively, obscurely, if you will. I'm sorry. Obscurely uh, presenting as though, well, in comparison to Scripture, that what other people's statements aren't uh, – aren't true and then he tries to use scripture but the scripture he does not believe in so um i'm gonna go on lord when you nudge us may we not ignore it when you nudge us god may we act on it swiftly wait may we lord be he's not even he's not even talking about anything in relation to her or whatever i'm not saying somebody didn't nudge her or whatever i did speak about um against um um, being nudged by another false pastor that was there, uh, false pastor Dawn Reed. Um, he basically nudged me to um, suggest, like, you know, I stop talking or, or be quiet because I was actually, well, every, other people were sharing their views uh, while they had this false pastor, I'm sorry, false teacher Lee King uh, present these false teachings of John Wesley, a uh, false pastor, I'm sorry, John Wesley. Um, founder of their church or whatever that was against Jesus Christ or whatever. And I'm just like, I question it and I'm just like, well, this is, you know, what Jesus taught or whatever. And, um, you know, uh, it, it's against Jesus Christ. And she nudged me on the table with her knee for me to stop talking. And it was just like really rude. So they actually mocked and tried to target, uh, my daughter or whatever. Um, and put in her, um, uh, uh, speech about nudging or whatever they're brainwashing like they insert false ideas into people's minds they don't they're not even christian and they don't even do anything in any godly purpose or or using uh things to you know influence enlighten people in knowledge whatsoever they just put the words in in people's conversations as like this triggering effect it's just like really disturbing what they do um they are a cult so uh, these are blind followers a lot of them and he he is basically involved in, in basically uh, another circle, um, uh, basically, well, a cult that's actually um, among different uh, so-called, I'm sorry, so-called church leaders, if you will. Uh, church leaders and in divine New Jersey police department and governments and things like that. And, and just influencing people to make claims and statements that they don't even know what they're talking about and sensitive to the divine nudge of the Holy Spirit in ministering to this young woman. I lift her to you now, Lord. I anoint her this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We're going to go back up a little bit and do this again. Lord, you know Marley has surgery coming up this week, Lord, and Lord, you're also very much aware, Lord, that she is a single parent. And I'm sure there's lots of concerns and lots of things running through this young lady's mind this morning as she stands here. She's responsible for a beautiful, beautiful little boy that's so full of energy. What's his reaction to her? It's so hard to take care of him when you can't move around well. So, Lord, first and foremost this morning, Lord, I pray that we, the Church of Jesus Christ, would be ever mindful of Marley for the next couple weeks. Lord, when you nudge us, may we not ignore it. When you nudge us, God, may we act on it swiftly. May we, Lord, be open and sensitive to the divine nudge of the Holy Spirit in ministering to this young woman. I lift her to you now, Lord. 
I anoint her this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And I pray this morning, God, that your hand would be upon her. God, may you calm the fear. Lord, may you speak against all of the billions of questions that's running through her mind. Are you serious? May you be her blessed assurance. May she know she can count. He deliberately put, like, anoint in the, in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and then he continues to lie and play these little games. This is what all these churches do, basically. It's like they pray, like, for the Holy Spirit to guide them, and they deliberately lie, manipulate, and make all these little passive insults um, against God and, well, people or whatever, uh, uh, also. And um, they, they have no... Um, I'm just gonna go on. I just self-explanatory. Never failed her. <coughs> this week is no. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. Bless her this morning, God. Encourage her, strengthen her, and give her the courage, God, when she said assurance. May she know she can count on you, God, for you have never failed her, and this week is no time to start. Bless her this morning. Really. Encourage her, strengthen her, and give her the courage, God. She's reacting. She needs help to let us love her. Give her the courage to reach out, God. That we this, um, to her, you God. see that? That's a learned behavior from Nelda We. It is a superficial false smile. Um, there's different intentions, though, um, between Nelda We and, uh, Angie. I don't believe Angie has, like, some evil intention. Like, you know, she's trying to do this thing. I don't know if I can back up. Ugh. Hold on. Move around well. So, Lord, first and fourth surgery coming up this week, Lord, and... Lord, you're also very much aware, Lord, that she is a single parent. And I'm sure there's lots of concerns and lots of things running through this young lady's mind this morning as she stands here. She's responsible for a beautiful, beautiful little boy that's so full of energy. <laughs> and it's so hard to take care of him when you can't move around well. So, Lord, first and foremost, this morning, Lord, I pray that we, the Church of Jesus Christ, would be ever mindful of Marley for the next couple weeks. Lord, when you nudge us, may we not ignore it. When you nudge us, God, may we act on it swiftly. May we, Lord, be open and sensitive to the divine nudge of the Holy Spirit in ministering to this young woman. I lift her to you now, Lord. I anoint her this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And I pray this morning, God, that your hand would be upon her. That, God, may you calm the fears. Recognize this guy and this woman. All they do is smile the whole time like he's, like, it's it's all fake. They just put on this stuck-on smile um, and do not respond to all the insults of God that he does. Lord, may you speak against all of the billions of questions that's running through her mind. Are you serious? May you be her blessed assurance. May she know she can count on you, God, for you have never failed her, and this week is no time to start. Bless her this morning, God. Encourage her, strengthen her, and give her the courage, God, when she needs help to let us love her. Give her the courage to reach out, God, that we can minister to her, God. I thank you this morning, Lord, for Marley. I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for this church. May we rise up and be the church this week, God. I pray this, Lord, in your name. Amen. All right, maybe I should put the um, other one on here. Oh, there's her hug. Jesus is calling. 
You don't want to miss that call. I'm telling you, it's, it's the so it makes no sense to me on you know, what these people are doing. Um, it, it, he did that on purpose, and uh, William Clay, and um, there, there's, 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 there. Love doesn't. He talks about love. Just love does not come out of him. Um, I mean, there, there's no lies in love. There's, you know, Christianity. The love of God does not mind rate people. Um, we're not going to sit there and. Uh, it has nothing to do with conviction of the Holy Spirit whatsoever. Um, I'm going to end it with that because it's 30 minutes. And, um, yeah, uh, I'm just...